What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Zortrak Inkspire Resin 3D Printer. Zortrax was kind enough to send one of these my way to do some test prints, make some fun videos for you guys, but unfortunately, the LCD screen on this resin printer that helps cure, produces the light that's gonna cure the resin in there to make the actual awesome, cool prints, didn't work as I uh, after I was trying to get this thing set up. So I reached back out to Zortrex and they were kind enough to send me a replacement LCD screen. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually swap this out. Let's check it out. So unfortunately in the world of 3D printing, sometimes things break down. And in this case, this was the Zortrex LCD screen just did not work out of the box after I opened it reached out to these guys, they were able to send this kit to me and thankfully the printer comes with these cool little tool case here with all sorts of things that I'm gonna need for this particular project here. I've got some tools that I'll be using for this and most importantly, they have these little suction cup thingy or bobber here, things that I should be able to disconnect the LCD screen, pop this out, put the new one in, reconnect everything up, and fingers crossed this all works correctly and I don't jack this up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the top here. I'm gonna remove the print bed so that I can get access to the actual LCD screen. Uh, I will also remove the build plate here just for precautionary purposes. So here's the LCD screen that I will actually be replacing. So again, what was happening is I'd power up the machine, I'd go to print up something and nothing would actually happen. Nothing would actually print. And I was able to, through contacting their support team, figure out that the LCD screen was actually busted and not working as it should. Thankfully, they've included this little hex bolt screwdriver here. On the side panel, I should be able to remove this panel on the right hand side of the 3D printer. All right, now that we've got this panel open, I'm gonna try to carefully remove this cable that's powering the LCD screen. Well, that popped off very easily. All right, time to use these suction cup doodads here. Cue my Mission Impossible music. I'm gonna put them both on the same side that the panel was on that I removed the cables from. I should be able to lift this up or not. It's coming. I can hear the glue on adhering. There we go. Maybe third time, fourth time's a charm. There we go. So here's the replacement LCD screen here. It looks like there is some film on the front side that I will remove as well as the back side of the panel. Back side of the panel, I removed the film from that. Uh, there also appears to be some double-sided tape here. So that's what was actually holding the, the previous screen in place which was nice to see. I'm actually not going to remove those just yet. First, I'm gonna thread this wire through, try to get that connected, and then I'll remove these and then try to glue everything down or at least stick everything down. All right, so I've got this. I'm gonna try and thread this on in through the opening here. All right, so the cable ended up going behind the module here so I need to it'd probably help if I had some tweezers but I need to try and fish that out of there or fish it forward and that works just as well and now I just need to try and carefully align the connector with the connection panel here that actually was not too hard All right, now I'm just making sure that everything is secured in place and putting a little bit of pressure around the corners to make sure it's sealed up and it looks nice and flush and feels nice and flush. All right, we're gonna power it back on up and see if that fixed the issue. All right, so I've got everything now up and running and it's ready to start printing. I haven't actually done any prints on this just yet and I'll be doing some follow-up videos on this machine here in the upcoming days, weeks, etc. 
you can look forward to that as well as follow me on social medias the Instagrams, the Twitters, etc. We'll be posting some of my prints over there as well. Uh, again, hopefully this helps anybody out there that has an Inkspire 3D printer and ends up needing to change their LCD screen. And again, this really can happen with any 3D printer uh, from resin to re regular FDM 3D printers where parts need to be swapped out from time to time. Thankfully, the folks over at Zortrex made this really easy for you to swap out that LCD screen in case that ever happens to you, even for someone as non-technical as myself who really should not be messing with internal wiring and components like that. So thanks again for watching you guys. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye now. What's going on? <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what happened right there. I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs>